When I found out that Essential Energy were going to do what they were going to do, I thought it was a very ambitious plan. I saw the machinery come in, I saw the digging, the, you know, the tunnelling process. For the Charlotte's Pass project, we used our ST2 trencher, uh, rock saw, towing our mechanical land box behind it. By using the ST2 rock saw, we were able to trench through all the hard rock, um, as well as soft material. The trench position was right beside the road all the way through a national park, so we were required to have minimal disturbance on the road and the national park itself. Uh, we looked at other options, obviously, like SAP systems, building an overhead network, uh, but we discounted all those through various discussions with different stakeholders, internal and external, and said, right, uh, we're going to continue with the existing route, which is essentially a long Kosciuszko road from the switching station and down in the Charlotte's Pass village. So working with Essential Energy and working with the local guys was really valuable to us and it's a crucial support system um, that, that we need to have. They were really great in keeping that communication really thorough and effective and making sure that we understood what was happening every step of the way. It was really crucial that we were able to have a stable supply for winter so the team were really great in, in deploying generators for us. In the end we didn't actually have to use the backup systems but it was great to, to have it there in, in case anything did happen. Just having the technical backup from Essential Energy, that's something that we didn't have before. So being able to call them incidents that we've had prior, it, you know, it has, it's a game changer for us. What Essential has done for us, you know, it's given me a heap of confidence. One of the biggest challenges was the access to the site. This area of the National Park is closed off for a period of about four months of the year due to snow cover, which meant limited access for design, consultation, tendering processes, preparing the project for delivery, and then a very narrow time frame to actually complete the works in between ski seasons. We had extensive engagement for all the external stakeholders. There were National Parks, uh, Telstra, Transport New South Wales, the ski resorts themselves. Um, without that discussion, consultation, communication, the project wouldn't have been as successful as it was. It was absolutely crucial. Every week of the construction of the project, we encountered different things that were unable to be planned for at the time. Uh, we had a triathlon go through site at one stage. None of the big stakeholders in the area were communicated with about it. But again, because we had all these contacts, we were able to quickly get a meeting together, coordinate how we could get the triathlon through, but not stop our construction while keeping the race going and keeping their participants safe. Delivering the project under the budget, under time, in the limited time frame we had, was a massive achievement. One of the reasons behind the success of that was the on-site support, being available on-site, uh, both the project manager and the site construction supervisor available meant that we're only five minutes away from site. We could address issues, support them, report them, being there day in, day out with the contractor as opposed to trying to manage it remotely. I personally do not think the project would have been completed in time without the help of the Essential Energy team, and that was a local team as well. The Essential Energy guys, at the end of the day, if we were having issues on site, they were happy to chuck their gloves on and jump in there and give us a hand. The project was, um a fantastic challenge and a great achievement. But for me and I think the rest of the project team, the success was only achieved through the collaboration and support of so many business groups. I sent an email out at the end of it and I tried to remember every business group or every individual that had assisted in some way throughout the project. And the list was like in the hundreds. We couldn't have done any of it without the people just you can pick up the phone and there's people that will help you with anything. By far the greatest you know, achievement power-wise for Shower Pass, what they did as far as getting that cable through underneath Spencer's Creek, it has done an amazing change in my power fluctuations, constant, consistent power that is supplying Charlotte's. And it's a very positive outcome for Shower Pass.